We come on the air with breaking news this evening. Police shot and killed a man just over a mile from Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee, the main site of the Republican National Convention. Now you are seeing what the scene looked like on the ground. The large police presence and police tape closing off the area. And that's where Darielle Fair is right now. Darielle, tell us what we've learned so far this evening. And that's where we find her now. Darielle, give us an update. Brandon, people are expressing concerns to Milwaukee leaders about the number of law enforcement agents in town for the RNC are now expressing anger. That anger comes after police officers shot and killed a man, and those police officers are from Columbus, Ohio. That incident taking place just one mile away from the RNC venue that you just stated. Just within the last half hour, the president of the Fraternal Order of Police said the Columbus, Ohio officers were on patrol with officers from Madison. A Madison police spokesperson just told us their officers were close by, but not in the immediate area at the time of the shooting. We're also learning the person shot and killed is a man. Witnesses told our Milwaukee affiliate two men were fighting in a park and one of them pulled out a knife. Our Milwaukee affiliate is reporting that the person with the knife is the person who was who, who police shot. Activists spoke to reporters about their concerns, claiming that officers were operating outside of the RNC security zones. We're not even two days in to this RNC and we have a casualty. How is that possible? And guess what? As always, no answers from the MPD. No transparency, no accountability. There's a large police presence here for the convention and the Secret Service is also on the scene. The Columbus, Ohio Fraternal Order of Police sent in a statement that none of their officers were harmed. And the Columbus Police Department also said in a statement that those officers were within the operational zones they were assigned to. Reporting in Milwaukee, Darielle Fair, 27 News.